Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Rao, a senior member and former mayor pro tem for the town of Morrisville's council and the host of Leaders Show on Radio Naira and a proud member of the Radio Naira team. I want to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a happy July 4th and to share with you my July 4th message for this year as we emerge from a very dark and uncertain time in our nation's history. The words of our Declaration of Independence are ones that are revolutionary words, that we all hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These words were revolutionary words, mind-blowing at the time. The, the notion that you could be born into freedom, regardless of the property that you owned, your wealth, your religious beliefs, that all the people born into the United States were free. This also inspired immigrants from all around the world over the hundreds years of America's history. Many of you have now come from India and you call North Carolina and the Triangle home. But also, it's become clear that there's been a lot of injustices in America, things that America has gotten wrong. Most recently, we've talked about slavery, the continuation of systemic racism and racial bias in our nation as we witness the death, tragic death of George Floyd. We've seen insurrection on our democracy. We've seen the politics of intimidation and terrible, terrible division. As we see these injustices take place before our eyes, we ask ourselves, how can we honor the Declaration of Independence? Is America really a great nation? What does the future hold as we celebrate American independence? Well, I say that we have to continue to celebrate it because there's other words in our constitution we must look at. And those words are that we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. President Barack Obama, our former president, reminded us at the funeral of the freedom fighter, John Lewis, that our union is never perfect, that each and every one of us from every generation has to do our part to make the union more perfect. We've seen this through the great heroes in American history from Dr. Martin Luther King, who fought and led the civil rights movement to Thurgood Marshall, who fought for separate but equal, and Rosa Parks, we refuse to get off of a bus. We see it in the first responders who keep us safe, the brave soldiers who keep us free and put their lives at risk every day to keep us free and to keep those around the world free. And we've seen this great hope of light within us, within our own community. The Hindu Society of North Carolina, BAPS and other organizations have helped provide food to the homeless. They've helped manufacture masks. They've worked with healthcare institutions to provide vaccinations to our citizens, vaccination clinics. And so it was an everlasting reminder to me of this great hope that exists within each of us. It reminds me of the words from Amanda Gorham's poem, who was the poet lawyer who honored President Biden through great poetry. And she said, in her poem, that when day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never ending shade? And the last line of her poem is that the new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. This light, this love exists within each and every American. It burns brightly within us. You've shown us that during this pandemic. And it will continue to burn brightly for future generations. It is imper imperative that as we celebrate American independence, we don't just stop on honoring the day the nation was founded, but realize that this light and this hope must continue. 
And in the words of Amanda Gorman, she said that America is more than a pride that we inherit. It is a past that we step into and repair it. American democracy must always be something that we not only not take for granted, but that each generation continues to build and make the union more perfect for future generations. That is my message today to each and every one of you. My final message is as we celebrate American independence and we see the emotion of those who are naturalized and become American citizens, we also were reminded at this moment the tremendous distance that many of our immigrant communities feel during the COVID pandemic. I've received a number of calls and emails from many Indian Americans who have lost their mothers, their fathers, their brothers or sisters, and they feel so alone, so afraid to not even be able to say goodbye to their family and their loved ones, to be feeling darkness all around them. We want our brothers and sisters to know that you are not alone, that we love you and that our light will always be with you. And although you feel tremendous distance from those that you love, we pray for you, for any family, who's lost a loved one from this pandemic, from anyone who's lost a loved one from any illness, and from anyone who's lost their lives in the line of duty as a police officer, a first responder, or as a United States soldier. We pray for each and every one of you. On this Independence Day, be the light, be the change. Be the hope. Celebrate the great achievements of our nation, but also celebrate what makes American democracy great is that we can also accept our imperfections and work and strive to make them better. That's why we are a democracy. That's why we are a republic. May God bless each and every one of you. May God bless our troops, wherever they may be. And as in the words of President Lincoln, who on the fields of Gettysburg reminded us that this nation shall have a new birth of freedom, and that a government of the people, by the people, for, and for the people shall never perish from the earth. Let your light shine brightly. And let's get on to building a more perfect union. God bless each and every one of you. And may God always protect and save our troops. God bless our nation. Long live America.